Good morning, I'm Glenn Sanderson, leader of Northumberland County Council and behind me is a brilliant new venture for us, um, a new leisure centre, library, um, custom interface place, um, which comes on the back of a new centre in Berwick uh, a year and a half ago, Pontilan two years ago, three years ago. Um, so it, it underlines how important leisure is for us because it ticks those three priorities of the council. The one is around providing value for money for our council taxpayers. So it's only right that we provide the very best that we can in terms of leisure. And it's it's hard thing to do. Uh, at a, you know, a lot of councils are looking to close down leisure centres rather than opening them. Um, it hits the target around providing jobs and business, and that's what we're doing here by providing a significant amount of new jobs. But also in tackling inequalities, our third priority, because it will allow healthy lives, it will allow that opportunity to exercise, to health and mental health, and so on. And our concessions policy will make sure that people on lower incomes can come and enjoy this just as much. So all in all, um, I'm really proud of this beautiful new building. Um, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great place um, and I hope that people will enjoy this, use it as much as they can uh, and come back over and over again for years to come. Yes, a, a lot of people would say that uh, this is a, a, a strange time, given the, the current climate, to uh, to, to be uh, to be spending so much money, £21 million, pounds on this type of uh, development. But I'm sure you would say that it's definitely worthwhile. Well, I think it is worthwhile because it is providing that value for money for council taxpayers. Um, much better to have a new leisure centre that makes money uh, than an old one that consistently and, and constantly costs money, isn't popular, people complain about. So it's the right thing to invest in the future. Um, councils need to think about people and put them first and people want a new leisure centre, um, a place that they can enjoy, a new library. I mean we haven't closed any libraries unlike again a um, significant amount of other uh, councils have had to make savings. So we, we really believe that it's important to invest in the future. Uh, so it's not just leisure centres, it's education as well. Three new schools uh, are coming. Um, and it's not, but it's not just about um, spending money, it's about ensuring that people get value for money um, and that we um, continue to provide um, the frontline services that people want us to as well. So whether that's free town centre car parking, um, the free, first free hour at um, country parks um, or a whole range of uh, services that we provide continuing at the same level uh, that they did last year and the year before. It's all about councils being clear on what they're there for which is to provide the essential services and the right quality of those and secondly to invest in capital projects like this so that people can say yeah well council tax costs a lot but look this is what we get for our money and that's important to me. And what about uh, bringing these uh, different uh, um, areas of interest uh, together on one site? Uh, libraries, mm. uh, ed education centres, um, swimming pools, sports halls? Well it, again it's, it's making the most efficient use of space so rather than having five separate buildings if we get them all in the same place so that people can come for a swim and then they've got a problem with a council service or want to find out more information uh, about a particular <coughs> service that we do or if they want to go to the library it's all one visit. It saves us money by not having separate buildings uh, and it's better for people that come and visit this building because they can get all of this done in one journey. So all together um, you know it, it, it makes sense um, and we hope that this will make money back for the council. The more money the council can make out of this, the less the council tax has to go up. So it's, it's investing in the future. It's investing in the right modern equipment um, so that people can enjoy this for years to come. And while the uh, centre's in Morpeth, I, I imagine it's not solely for the use of uh, people in Morpeth. No, this, this will cover, um, the, the cover a catchment area of, at Bedlington, Choppington, Cambo, Long Horsley, uh, Pegswood, um, all within uh, easy reach uh, of getting here. Um, and I think the place will be really popular. Uh, we know already that some of the classes are already full for the next two weeks, packed full.
already. So um, it's it's um, it's great, uh, and and this is what we should be doing with council tax money. We should be investing in the future, providing the right things for people to enjoy. And what about those people? Because the, there are critics who will say, well, uh, what about places uh, like Bedlington, uh, for example, that uh, doesn't have this sort of facility? Uh, what would you say to those people? Well, I'd say to, that we can't do everything for everyone. What we can do is if we base these centres in a catchment area that is still reachable by public transport, um, if we um, if we uh, invest in a real state-of-the-art place like this with a modern library, modern customer centre, then it will be uh, available for people to reach uh, reasonably easily. We can't build um, leisure centres for every town because that would, well, we couldn't afford to do it, but even if we did, we'd lose money and there's no point in spending taxpayers' money to lose it. So. Um, we think that the, 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 the patchwork of um, new leisure centres and um, improved leisure centres, so we've spent a lot of money, uh, we're going to be spending a lot of money in Cranmington, uh, Newbiggin, uh, Blythe, Ashington, Hexham, Pontyland, Berwick, uh, and now Morpeth, with these great facilities for people to enjoy. So, you know, we'll, we'll never make ourselves popular with everyone, you just can't do that, sadly. But we think this will be the right thing for the right, in the right place, providing the right level of service. And, and what about uh, Morpeth's uh, old leisure centre, the uh, River, Riverside Leisure Centre? What, what's, uh, what's the plans for that? Well, there are no plans just yet, because we're still looking at the various options. Um, but I'm sure we will find a good use for that, uh, which will all help when we get the proceeds and find new use for it, all help to fund uh, our capital programme. And the, the success, I imagine, of, uh, of this uh, new site rests largely on people using it. It certainly does. Uh, and the initial figures show that already um, classes like the Aquafit class, for example, are virtually full, I think, for every session for the next two weeks, for example. Um, I'd be very surprised if in a few weeks' time this place wasn't um, being used by many, many, many different people. Uh, hopefully as many young people, hopefully as many people of my age who uh, want to keep fit, uh, and those people who are... Uh, wanting to come to the library, finding out more about what the council can offer through the leisure, uh, uh, leisure services. A whole new um, centre for people to come, do all of the things that they want to do in one place, park their car free of charge and hopefully go and have a meal when they're here perhaps or go to one of the great shops that Morpeth has. It's, it's, um, it's a great place to come. It's not just Morpeth, it's the whole surrounding area that will benefit. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing loads and loads of people here um, for years to come.